Today started out like a normal day in Grand Theft Auto Online. We got news that peyote plants are back. Future Sonny Evans here, the peyote plants are gone from Grand Theft Auto Online. Just leave it to your boy to make content a week too late. You see, animals bring love, animals bring happiness, and we will therefore bring joy and happiness upon one and all in GTA Online. But before we do any of that shit, we gotta get our booties upon land to start the adventure. Oh, and smash like with whatever is closest to you right now, this instant, and let me know what it was in the comments down below, okay? Am I making it? Oh. <laughs> Come on. I got this, I got this. Trust. Trust. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a boat! Going back out to sea now. What's a beeping? Oh my god, not the boat again. It does appear on the radar, you know. Just drive onto the fucking beach, it's right I, there. I've come too far now. <gasps> If I just hit this ramp. That's not a ramp, that's a ship! Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Watch this. Watch this, yeah? So watch it. How was that? Well, I suppose when you try to do this. No, 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 that eventually you would do something decent. <laughs> anyway, before spreading all this love and happiness, we have to do it. It's been a hot minute, but it is indeed time for a ooh, quick sprung stop. Enough of this tomfoolery. There's a whole world of degeneracy and toxicity out there that needs to be cleansed by the hordes of animals we will set upon them. I waved my magic wand and just like that, I sim bim to the everlasting shit out of myself and I am now a glorious majestic cow. We called in an old friend, the sprung truck. I was not gonna lie, we were a bit salty about this vehicle. Maybe, just maybe, there is some sort of use to this vehicle. Oh, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Give me a sec. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. And oh boy. Work that it did. Finally, we found the secret use of the sprung truck. It was transporting cattle all along. Now, it's a shame that we can only transport cattle for about two weeks in the entire year. But hey, it is at least roughly 2% more useful now. Oh, oh god. Oh. Oh, the horrible pain. Oh, oh, I'm good. We found our first player down the road who really looked like he wanted to suckle from my thick dangling otter. But when we got close... That went well. Nice. Yeah. That went just about as you would expect. But this tiny hiccup, it won't stop us. We will succeed. We will bless the players of Grand Theft Auto Online with the love they so need. Okay. Felipe. Oh, Felipe. I wish I never saw that name. I, upon first sight, I thought he was just an angry kid. But later, we found out that this boy was storming. We located him and chased him down. Surely it will give Felipe a good old chuckle. Maybe he will change his ways if he sees this funny little rat in the bat of the slam truck. And so the chase was on. I tried to call him and ask him to stop, cause surely, upon seeing this beautiful sight, he would come to his senses and shake in storming ways. Oh god, he's going in for the kill. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get out of here now. Cobra after cobra after cobra he tossed at us, but we were on our way out. He was in hot pursuit now, god damn it. We will not perish again. They floored it, but my tiny rat feet could barely get a grip on the truck. I was rocking around like crazy. Slow down, I yelled. But then, Dave hit a traffic sign. It hit me in the back of the truck. I was sliding around the back and I screamed for help to the gods above. I scraped my tiny rat body on the concrete now and... Oh lord, no, no, no! We will get back to Felipe later. We've come to the realization that simply presenting animals upon Los Santos just isn't enough. We either end up getting killed, blown up, splatted, incinerated, or everything in between and beyond. So we conjured up a devious and cunning plan. The animals in this game are seemingly defenseless, but what if we find ways to turn them into weapons of mass destruction? I hear you scream, wait, weren't you supposed to send love to the players of GTA Online? Correct. 
But if that doesn't work, we will do the next best thing, which is commit mass genocide. We will do this the old fashioned way. We will grab a pigeon, strap a sticky bomb on its back and then send that bastard flying straight up someone's bum. Now let's see how effective this is. I was cruising around down the street with my pet pigeon bomb when a horrendous sight unfolded in front of me. A grinder and behind him a broom boy. No, 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 run I screamed to the grinder. He raced onwards but the broom boy was coming straight for me and with one strike. Death, death. And he was now en route to kill the grinder, but somehow he got his ass clapped. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Target acquired, bombs placed, pigeon airborne, initiate plan. The grinder finished his mission, but we will have our vengeance. I mean, we will spread our love and happiness with pigeon. I moved up, goal one was airborne. The griever was trying to acquire a vehicle and I had to stop him. Our only hope is to get into a 1v1 situation between me and the griever and then goal one sneaks up and explodes him. Then and only then have we acquired the sweet victory royale. I passed the grinder and moved up to the grieving bastard, but he, he jumped inside of some highly armored contraption with guns. Damn it, he's coming straight for me. I got one chance. <gasps> oh, what a shot. Oh shit, go one is closing in quickly. It is now or never. Pigeon bomb sees target. I keep the target focused on me. He is trampling. He's running away and I put a warning oh, shot right into his butt cheek. He stumbles. He runs into the alley. This is it. Go one has a lock on. Let me know when it explodes. Oh, yeah? oh no 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 no. Got him! And just like that, a loud explosion. Bird shit, cadavers, fatters, everywhere. Oh god, I can't look. But ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And that is one less griefer, perched by the pure love from the creatures of Los Santos. So about Felipe. He was still storm. Yes, a lot of things happened in between. I mean, he hilariously missed me when he came straight for me. He got killed by Dave shortly after, and then he wanted to get a tank to get his revenge on us, but he got destroyed by the entire lobby. Now, if you thought the old boy was storming before, well, he was taking it all out on the LSPD. But in the meantime, I indeed sim salabimped into a giant horned rat. When I made my way over to Felipe, I saw the horrible atrocities he was committing. He has to be stopped, and thus I clickety-clacked over with my hooves, and just like that, I showed him the hoof-to-nose technique, and I bestowed absolute dominance upon him. It was time to get out. We've asserted dominance. His tank griefing days are over. He's washed up. But then, oh boy. Oh boy, Felipe was truly storming now. He rushed after us, we raced away into the city, but then he got clapped by a random guy on the Mark II oppressor. I am king, he whispered under his breath. Rage filled up my heart and soul, who does this man think he is? You don't simply proclaim yourself king, and just like that I hooped him in the mouth again. I am king, I will king. Damn it, this isn't over yet. Dave raced his way over and I went around to block the old diversion tactic. And just like that, a king got hoofed again. I will make goulash of you. Oh sweet god, now I am partial to some goulash, but this, this cannot stand. I rushed towards him, he came around the corner. I did a quick 180, but then... Oh, I'm tripped! I tripped! Get out of there! A disastrous trip, and I am now tits up on the ground. The king has time to regroup in the corner. We can't have that happen. I get up, rush over to King Felipe. He whips out a minigun, and just like that, we are in a 1v1 situation, and it's over. But all good things must come to an end. And shortly after, I met my demise via minigun laser. But after asserting ultimate gamer dominance, the game was up. And the king... The king relinquished his crown, and the legend of Los Santos crowned me king. I was truly honored by this. I can't believe it. Me, the king. What to do with all this power? I wanted to take Felipe for a quick sprung stop to settle our differences, but he left. But the old boy was no longer storming, and the animals saved Los Santos. 
and this entire ordeal was truly something else, but we had fun, and I hope you had fun too. If you had fun, be sure to smash like, okay? Now it is time to thank all the YouTube members of the channel. Thank you one, thank you all. But I have to give a special shout out to a handful of members who picked this sweet epic sprung stop level of membership. Thank you, Jesse, Aragon, Daniel, Charon, Chocolate Operator, Mystery, and Tristan. And I can't possibly go on without mentioning gaming with Cree Jones. This person straight up went for the epic victory royale holy macaroni that is legendary <laughs> thank you so much dude i haven't seen you on the members only tab but be sure to say hi there all right anyway thank you all for watching next video will be cops and crooks so stay tuned for that and with that all being said i'll give you all the good old arrivederci okay bye peace